Okay, so today I'm gonna be taking you guys through one of my shifts here at Starbucks. I'm gonna be working from 3.30 to 8 today, and I'll kind of walk you through like how I normally go about my shifts and the people that work here. And, yeah. Okay, so right about now I have like 10 minutes until I get in. It's currently 3.18, so now I just kind of wait around and have a snack. I brought an apple today, so I'm gonna eat this and then, then clock in, so. Okay, so I've been punching for like half an hour now. It just got super busy, so now I can get a chance to show you guys around our store, and I'll take you on a tour of our back room. So, in the back room, we have all of our syrups that we use for the day. Then we have all of our cups and lids and all that good stuff to put the drinks in. This is our ice machine over here. We fill it up with that bucket to fill up the containers outside. This is where we keep all the teas and like bags and stuff. This is where we do all our dishes, all the cleaning supplies, more like napkins and bags and stuff like that. The sugars are all right here. And then if we go to the other side, we have our espresso beans that we use for all of our coffee-based drinks. And then here's the, like where we keep our refreshers, like the very berry hibiscus and our strawberry base, apple juice, lemonade, all stuff like that. And then this is where we keep all of our RTD and E, our stuff that we just sell out in like the freezer and stuff. And then now we have like these little cubbies. Everyone has their own cubby. I keep my marker in my cubby. Some people keep gum or whatever. It was like a secret Santa thing that we did for Christmas, but we decided to keep it. So this is for the music. And this is normally where Kelly, our manager, stays and does most of her work throughout the day. Um, yeah, so I'll take you guys back outside. Okay, so it's been like an hour or so. We just got swamped with drinks because it's happy hour today. And here's Austin. Hello. Hi, Austin. My favorite barista. Excuse me. These are espresso machines. We got two. And then we have all our syrups over here. This is where we make our frappuccinos. This is where the milks are in these little fridge down here. And yeah. Um, we have more backup syrups over here with all our teas. This is where the ice is, all the lids for everything. And yeah. Alright kids, so here at Starbucks everything must be cleaned. And when I say everything, I mean everything. So this process is called pre-closing in which we clean all of our syrups, um, the machines, the floors. Um, so I'll walk you through how to do a pre-close is you want to take all these syrups and then you move them over here where you put these this on hot water and then you scrub the, the syrup so you get all the, the schmutz off and then what you do is you go over to the teas here and you see how these say Thursday since today's Thursday these are overdue so you must change them to Friday using date dot stickers and so do these these have to get changed for Friday too Okay, so my 10 minute break just ended and we really don't have much else to do since I'm not closing tonight. The big thing is just getting the pre-close done because that's just like an annoying thing to do during your shift. So now really all I have to do is like do whatever uh, Katie says. She's our shift tonight, which is like the person who's in charge. Um, she's the shift manager. Okay, so I just got done restocking some lids and cleaning up around here. And now we're gonna talk to my boy Austin. Hello. What's it like working here at Starbucks? Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you get to fool around and make drinks and talk to customers and be really, really personal with people. So it's a, it's a good time. So do you think that younger kids should, not necessarily Starbucks specifically, but find a job like within their community or just in general? Uh, I think it's employment is good for students. Yes, I think it shows them like discipline earlier than later. Uh, it definitely shows you to be more independent. So, yes, I think. Who's your favorite barista here? Uh, I would have to say Nick. 
Um, but yeah, we're hurting here first. Guys. Okay, so now I'm currently doing a garbage run because we have a lot of garbage, as you can see. Um, yeah, so at Starbucks, we go through a lot of garbage, so it requires multiple garbage runs multiple times a day. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go take out this garbage and then we'll go back on to the floor and make some more bevs. Okay, so the last thing I normally do on days like today is I clean the bars and I mop the floor. But Austin said that he would like to mop the floor for me, so thank you, Austin. So I am going to be um, cleaning the bars. So this is the last thing. It's currently 7.30, and so after this, I'll be on my way home. Okay, so it is currently 8 o'clock now, and I am punching out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my shift today. Um, here's Katie, my wonderful shift supervisor. Yeah, this is pretty much what I do every day at, during my shifts, and I hope you guys found something interesting or learned something. And yeah, thanks for coming along. Once again, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for coming along on my my shift. And um, if you guys ever want to stop by, I'm probably at Starbucks every day during the week. <laughs> the message of the video is really to try and test out employment, um, find a job while you're in high school, because you you'll learn stuff that you won't learn inside the classroom, like being able to interact with strangers and being able to serve them, and really learn a level of discipline and you, you know, you, you really humble yourself by um, taking on a job outside of school. And I think it's very important for all students to gain that experience before they graduate.